Welcome to video 3 on the SCARM Model Railway Editor. To help us size our layout, SCARM has available rulers, a grid, we can change units and we can measure dimensions. In this video we will have a closer look how we can do all this. By default, SCARM has a ruler at the top and at the left, and there's also this grid of dots. In case you miss either of those, go to the Tools menu and then Settings and then 2D View, and there should be tick marks for rulers and grid. I untick them now and let's see the result. We have acquired uncluttered desktop, which can sometimes be nice too. To bring the rulers in view or to toggle them, there's also a shortcut, which is uh, by no surprise the R key of a ruler that brings them back. When we zoom, uh, yeah, we see that the rulers change with my zoom amount, which is of course nice. Uh, what we also see is two uh, red arrows that move along with my mouse pointer. So if I move my mouse pointer somewhere, I can read here at the top where I am. I always have a habit of starting my layout at 0.0. .0. Uh, but if I would like to see how large this layout is, move the cursor to uh, the other side. And we can now read out that it is 3000 millimeters. Uh, we can also always you uh, read out the cursor position here at the bottom left of the screen. Currently the units used are shown here in the top left are millimeters. In case you prefer inches, uh, it's simple to change. Just click over there. It opens the settings dimensions. Uh, menu and there we can switch to inches. There is by the way a quicker way to do that and that is press the shortcut key U for units that toggles between inches or millimeters. In case we like to measure the dimension of something, anything, we can click the icon over here called measuring tape, click it once then you can release the mouse. The cursor now became a ruler. Suppose I want to measure the gap in my baseboard over here, click at one point, hold, click and hold and then drag and then the measurement starts and this gap is about 600 millimeters. Uh, if I want to get rid of this measuring tape then click the icon again. If you made a baseboard like I did over here, that is this blue line, then we can quickly see the dimensions of the baseboard by going to the menu view and then show size. And now all the dimensions are shown here at the side of the baseboard. That can sometimes be handy. How to draw a baseboard, that will be the subject of the next video. Let's go to the grid. We took it away via the tool settings to the view a grid tick mark. There is a quicker way to toggle the grid on or off, which is the G key on the keyboard. G that brings back the grid dots. If I press G again, it turns to lines. And if I press again, it goes away again. Uh, let's do lines and let's now go to the tool settings. Uh, 2D view grid because we see here we can change two things. We can put it always on top. Yeah, that can be uh, handy maybe sometimes. And we can also change the color if these subtle gray lines are not enough. Then we can turn it to let's say purple and see what happens. A little aggressive, but hey, maybe sometime it can be handy. Then there's one final thing about the grid. Uh, we have the Tool uh, Settings Dimensions menu over here, which by the way can uh, be much quicker reached by clicking this millimeter uh, or inches uh, change, then we are at the same point. Uh, we can now change the grid. Uh, we have a, a couple of default options or even a custom value. Let's make it uh, 333 three, three, just for fun and see what happens. 
Um, well, that's, that's, that's it about the uh, rulers, the grid, the units and the dimensions. In the next video, we'll have a look how we can make a nice drawing of a baseboard like this. Maybe see you back there and in the meantime, have fun.